Hey folks, it's Simon here. Welcome to your Tao Daily video for Friday the 17th of May 2024. S&P and NASDAQ were down minimally on Thursday. Not a lot of change there and really no change in my view. You can check out yesterday's video for that. What I thought I'd talk about today is Chinese stocks where I've been getting a lot of questions. So Chinese stocks have been I mean, you look at the short-term chart, this looks super impressive, right? And, and it is. that They've rallied 40% off their lows in uh, January, all right? So that's a massive rally. Um, this is FXI, which is a US-listed Chinese ETF, which kind of does a fair job of capturing the, the Chinese market. But if we zoom out, let's look at a weekly chart. Um, you can see that it's kind of been nothing but pain in Chinese equities for, for a long time. And if we go out to a monthly chart using FXI as a proxy, I mean, you can see it's just been, you know, for the fastest growing economy in the world, fastest growing major economy, it uh, hasn't been a, a very exciting stock market. But uh, it looks like the wind has changed. And it's not necessarily because Chinese, the China's economy all of a sudden looks amazing. It's just that the stocks got too cheap and investors started to take notice. So we had news released a couple of days ago that uh, David Tepper, who's the manager of Appaloosa Hedge Fund. Chinese stocks now represent uh, the fund's biggest holding. He's got 12% of his exposure in Alibaba. He's been trimming, uh, trimming Magnificent Seven stocks to buy Chinese stocks. And you can see the, the main, ma these are the major holdings of the fund. So number one is Alibaba, uh, Pinduoduo, Baidu, FXI, which we just had a look at, JD, um, UNH, KWeb, and BEKE, which I'm actually not familiar with, uh, make up the others. And when high-profile investors like this uh, start making noises on an asset class that has been largely kind of unloved and undiscovered or forgotten about, that can result in a sea change. Now, if you remember my video yesterday, you know that when a major index gets above this red line, that's not a, generally a great time to buy. So I wouldn't be chasing Chinese stocks here. I would be looking to buy the dip. But they've definitely gone from uninvestable six months ago to uh, kind of the, the latest hot uh, momentum trade. FXI probably wouldn't be my preferred way to play it because, uh, you know, it's got Chinese banks in it. And I, I don't think you really want that exposure given the slow moving property train wreck that's still ongoing. But KWeb probably makes a whole lot of sense. KWeb is the China Internet Stock ETF and its uh, exposure. It's all, you know, e-commerce, internet tech type plays. Now, it's up 42% year to date. Um, it's also looking extended. Obviously, this is not investment advice. Do your own due diligence. But yeah, I would have to say Chinese stocks have gone from a widow maker to something that now looks uh, a lot more fun to trade from the long side. That's what I got for you. I hope it helps. Have a great weekend and I'll catch you on Monday.